Now, yesterday, President Uhuru Kenyatta had an interview with a senior journalist from men's media houses at State House Nairobi. One of the things that came out clear from that interview was the decision by President Uhuru Kenyatta to ask his deputy, William Samoy Ruto, to resign from Jubilee government if he is not happy the way the government is driving the Jubilee agenda and then go and uh, sell his own agenda to the electorate at the end of the day let the people decide to give him a chance if they will then he can come and deliver on his own agenda <coughs> now president Urukenata was saying this because William Samai Ruto has come out clear sharply to differ and criticize President Uru Kenyatta's project that he's trying to do. One of the examples is the small firearm factory that Uhuru commissioned, which is really running as of now. Ruto came out clear to criticize and said that if this four billion was channeled to another project, it could have created more job for more people rather than having this small firearm which would create job for only a hundred people in Kenya. Now, again, funny enough, in, a, in as much Ruto is trying to criticize Uhuru project, again, in one hand where Jubilee has succeeded, doing very well, Ruto also is coming in to take credit for all those projects that has done well in this government as the UDA party leader. And I want to tell our competitors, in UDA, Number one, we have a track record. We have demonstrated that we built the railway, we built the roads, we connected electricity, we did DTI. We have a track record, number one. Now, we are continuing with our punchline discussion, but I have a humble request. You might be watching me and you have not yet subscribed. Please consider subscribing so that any other time, once we come out with a video, you will always get notified. And again, you will be helping us to grow. Again, to all the returning subscribers, and everyone who drops the comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Now, when you hear the president hitting at his deputy, there are three individuals who are always tasked to respond on behalf of the deputy president, William Samoy Ruto. And these individuals include Senator Kipchumba Murukumen, Senator Aaron Cheriot, and the Capsulate Member of Parliament, Oscar Sudi. <laughs> Auku ma point umemtesa kutosha bila William Ruto uru Kenyatta nataka nikwambie ukweli I love Dink mtalia mdabaki kama msomo shoga weta hawa tu wengi hata hiyo mjinga mwingine anaitwa Kioni sijui nini nilikuwa sijui nani umeitwa Msali hawakupigia kura tuliku support tulikuwa ishi kupigia mazindi sasa na mtu ukiona unataka kuja kutoa design you guys can you can, you can agree ite eh mkae chini resign Alafu sisi wa Kenya wengine wengi sasa tulichagua wajinga wawili ameshinda uongozo serikali na mama wako resign mwende jibani na ni akutumbia sijui ati mtu wa resign kwa sababu ya maoni yako sisi wote tuwapigia kura I don't tell you my... now just as i said when sudi speak please just understand that that is the deputy president speaking. So Ruto has responded to President Uru Kenyatta that it is either all of them to resign or none of them. That is the stand of the deputy president William Samway Ruto. And he has still made it clear that he is not President Uhuru Kenyatta's appointee. He was simply elected the same way the president was elected. And it was issued with a certificate the same way the president was issued with a certificate by Chebukati. Now, Senator Kipchumba Murukumen wrote something on Twitter. And this is how he responded to President Uhuru Kenyatta remark. Resignation from public office 
is not preserved of specific person or office. Even the other one can resign and Kenya will go on. So that is the response from Senator Kipchumba Murkumen. So Kipchumba is simply telling President Huru Kenyatta to resign from office if he is not happy with his deputy, William Samoy Ruto. That is sarcastic. <laughs> and uh, when he say Kenya will move, more, will move on, he simply means that after all, William Samoy Ruto will take up the leadership he will continue with the agenda of serving the country to the end. So the country will keep on going. There is no one who will be bothered that Uhuru has resigned. So it's clear. These guys have told Uhuru and anyone who bothered to listen to them that Ruto might not resign any time, might not resign any time soon. He is here to stay to the end. So anyone who is expecting or anticipating for Ruto to resign should just think of another business. He will go all the way, unless they use other means to remove him from that position. Now, again, in my view, I feel that President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Samai Ruto are just big jokers. Take it this way. Uhuru has Kielewek, plus ODM, plus Kanu, plus Waipa, plus Ford Kenya, and the ANC. So, why can't he use these numbers to initiate the removal of William Samoy Ruto from office if he feels that Ruto is still sabotaging his agenda? Because Uhuru has only remained with one year and he will be going home. And as we are speaking now, we have individuals who are viewing Uhuru as a lame duck president. Now, on the other hand, Ruto also should do the same because Ruto has insisted that he has numbers and if Ruto has numbers then the simplest thing to serve justice to Kenyans is also for him to initiate the removal of President Uru Kenyatta from office through the National Assembly. So let him bring his numbers and remove President Uru Kenyatta if he feels that Uhuru is not serving the agenda that they were elected on on the manifesto to serve as Jubilee government. So let him remove him and he will be in power to serve Kenya. And if these two are not doing this, they are simply just joking with our mind. Though we understand that William Samai Ruto might not have real numbers, they can just be perceived or perception numbers. So from his side we understand. But President Uru Kenyatta has those numbers and he has goodwill from the opposition. So for him we can do this and avoid all the sabotage that he feel is in his government. But as long as Uhuru is not going to take this initiative, one thing that we can conclude as Kenyans, or in my view, is that either Uhuru is fearing his deputy, William Ruto, and if Uhuru is not fearing his deputy, then these guys might be playing another card under the table when in, real, when in the eyes of Kenyans we see that these people are fighting, but in the other way, they are simply playing their card under the table. And when 2022 will come, these guys will see their real color coming out clear. Nasim Bali. So many individuals and even senior political analysts had made it clear that William Samoy Ruto might resign within this year. The guy has been pushed to the wall, pushed to the wall up to the end. But he has not resigned. Even to the extent of this, the junior uh, the junior officers in the government has gone to the extent of stopping his journey to Uganda. <laughs> but Ruto has not come out to resign. Anytime he comes up with a press conference, people think that he might be coming out to resign and then put forward his uh, UDA agenda, sell to the Kenyans, and prepare to be elected in. Though in my view also I said that in my thinking I wish Ruto should have just resigned from Jubilee government. The same way people like, even remember Kibaki resigned from Moi government one time. Jaramok did it. Though even we understand it was under different, uh, under different uh, constitution dispensation. But the noble thing is for Ruto to resign rather than facing all this humiliation. We understand he might be earning some sympathy, but again, it is time to get out 
work on his agenda, sell to the to sell to the city, to the people who are going to vote, you know. Then at the end of the day, we can understand which side is standing. Not being in Jubilee in one hand, criticizing Jubilee, and in the other hand, you are taking credit where Jubilee has performed very well. Where they go wrong, you criticize them. And, and still, you want to stay in the same government and expect it to feed you. So in my view, Ruto should just get out. But again, these guys might be just playing Kenyans. Thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. You can tell me in the comment section what you think about this. And I want to sincerely thank each and everyone who dropped comments. Those comments are very important. I always respond to each and every comment. In one way, you help me to guide me. In other way, you always encourage me to continue with the journey I'm doing. So thank you so much. Keep on subscribing and sharing us out.